Hello, today I'm going to show you how to download 3D models off the internet and upload them into Muse. Let's get started. So Muse, um, we have a 3D modeling uh, requirement that your models have to be under 40,000 triangles. And at times that can be a little bit difficult to find, especially on the internet. Um, but there's actually a tool called Rapid Compact that will make this significantly easier. So let's first of all get started off with finding our 3D model. I like to use CG Trader. CG Trader is an amazing database and marketplace of 3D models. You can find a bunch of free 3D models as well. When searching for 3D models, I prefer to use GLB files, even though Muse does support OBJ and FBX. I just like to use GLB because it is um, actually the native web format, or it is the web standard, so I just like to stick to it. Um, so I've already downloaded this model. Um, after you download the model, I like to go to this website called gltf.report and I like to upload my model here. I like to up to this, upload the model here because it tells me a lot of really interesting statistics that can help me debug what's going on with my model. Um, so right here on the vertices um, count right here, uh, you'll see that it has the plane is 85,000 vertices. Um, if you total up all the vertices counts with all the rows, um, that will tell you how many triangles are in the current uh, model. And obviously, um, this model is way too big for Muse. With Muse's cap being 40,000, this one's already 85,000, so it's not even close. But fortunately, that's why we have Rapid Compact, a tool that will allow you to decimate and automatically compress these models really easily. Rapid Compact is free to use um, for up to 20, uh, 20 compressions. So go ahead and create your account. Once you're done creating your account, you're going to want to upload your file. After you upload your file, um, which I already have done um, to save some time, um, you will then go to, you're, you're going to want to select the file that you just uploaded, click Launch Optimizer, and now you're going to go to Preset Creator. Once you select Preset Creator, you are going to want to click target resolutions, change this to face count, and type in 35,000. Uh, I like to use 35,000 and not 40,000 to give it some more leeway when it comes to uploading it to Muse. You're going to click next. You're going to turn bake AO map to off. Going to click next, next, and then just save preset under a name of your choice. Uh, once I've saved the preset, I just need to select it now and then click optimize. Now that my optimization is starting, um, once it's done, you can go click rapid models here and you can see um, you can see the model that has been optimized. So the way rapid compact works is I believe it will show you the original version and also the, um, the decimated version. Or no, if you click Rapid Models Browse, it should just show you the decimated versions. Um, and in here, I can see that it has 20,000 vertices and 35,000 faces. Um, and this is what the model looks like. So that's perfect. Um, that's exactly what we need. Um, remember, um, triangles or faces, sometimes people call them faces, need to be under 40,000. So we're going to click Download to GLB. Um, and then I'm in my Muse site right here. And now I'm going to select the model idea and then just upload my model that I downloaded off of CG Trader, or sorry, off of Rapid Compact. And oops, there we go. And there you have it. Here is the model of the car. So you may notice it looks a little bit dark. Um, that's easily fixed. We can simply add a light to the car, which will you know, give it some more light and stuff so you can see more color. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As always, if you need help with building, send us an email at info at muse.place or message us on Discord, or just click on Live Help, and we will be